it. I have to admit, that's, that's a little bit of a tonal dissonance and so far as you betray him. And you just come right back here like nothing happened. I think it kind of works if you assume you sort of like go right back to the start. Um, it's like, it's not necessarily like nothing happened. It's like nobody remembers that it happened, so to speak. You know? But I mean, at the same time, there has to be something in place so that you can try again. That would have to be a case of you only get one shot and never again, because obviously since you betrayed him and he was the one who was facilitating your resurrections, that means that you have that you have to kill him. You have to kill him before he kills you. And if you don't, then then like you lose, so to speak. Yeah, it's more like it got booted to the last save, yeah. I'm just but I'm just saying as like a, in a narrative sense, I'm trying to just figure out how to build that up to be something, you know. I'm not even gonna bother with making the thing. Uh you, no, but you don't get sacrificed. The only time you officially get sacrificed is at the very beginning and at the very end if you if you decide to accept uh, being sacrificed for him. Maybe, but at the same time, like, like let's say you just have like you know. Maybe you say you have like 21 followers like I do, and then like say three of them are elders, and like before you get a chance to go back into the fight, like all three of them die, and then you technically can't do it again. Now in, oh, what the hell is someone poop? What the hell is somebody poop? Like what? Oh, you're in the bathroom, whoops. What the hell does somebody poop? Nobody should have been fucking pooping. I do agree, <clears throat> there could be a little bit, a stronger bit of narrative continuity, at least for when you die. I think, I think that's, I think it's better to at least have some. One the minute bosses, I mean, obviously they would. You have to go through the entire boss rush again, that's how this works. That's kind of how boss bosses work. Work. You have to defeat all three bosses in succession. All the bosses in succession. Oh, I thought I, I thought I cleaned that up. I 
actually what I think would be good, a potentially good thing, well, there is still the central issue of the fact that there has to be some way for you to to come back regardless of what is going on so that you can actually have a chance to win. Unless you want to go the route of if you lose, you lose your like save file is cut off basically permanently because there's no because there's nobody for the cult to be uh to revolve around after all. That's like the only real way that actually works. So let me think. What could you do? Oh, let me, let me let me do this. Um, I want to do this. Um, rest real quick, just so I don't have it fade away on me. I'm trying to think. Because like a, an interesting idea, I think I think we can do is like you can sacrifice, like you can revive with full health, but you sacrifice a heart to do it. I think that's a really cool idea. The only thing I can't figure out is how to narratively make it so that you know dying and then oh, yes, I'll take that one, please. Is how to make dying in the first place against against him, you know, help still help with um you uh, jives with the whole you know coming back thing. Oh, thank you. I wish that for nothing! I guess I can't get plea into damage and fine. gonna die. So I didn't bother dodging. Second critical strike I've gotten from him against that thing. Okay. 
My Mercuria is on his side today. last time I do. As long as I don't, as long as I can get back to at least like a hundred percent damage amp, that'd be great. Oh, what? Ugh. Okay, to be fair, I probably should have actually struck, struck him then. That was kind of my fault. I know, right? Well, I'll still have some chances. <clears throat> I guess, in all honesty, I guess. I guess what they did is about the best they could do, I guess, because I've been really not really thinking of any way they could have possibly, you know... ...done that any differently. I mean, it's probably possible that there is, I'm just not thinking about it, though. I gotta be honest about that. Seriously? What the fuck was that? 
Wonderful. 30%. <clears throat> Always wonderful. Sally. Why? This is like the fifth of the time in a row. Too wide. There we go. That's a better shot. Got a little dizzy there. Was not expecting that. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. So. Oh, I guess because they don't have they don't have anything to do. They do not have, well, I guess everybody lived this and I didn't have anything to do, so just staying around and dancing, I guess. Somebody turned David Bowie on over here or something. I guess. We name now. Who can we name sorts? What's the name of the attendant again that you hate the most, Arachnos? The girl who pisses you off. What's the name again? Oh, that's what we're gonna name Zorochi's sister since they're both well since Zorochi's an Eric is a pompous arrogant bastard we gotta get somebody who's equally as smug so yeah <laughs> wow Aaron for a girl you have su you certainly have such a uh, such a low voice. Could have pet her first. Oh well. Mm. 
So I actually feel like I'm very incentivized to... <laughs> yeah, I know. Everybody's gonna die of sexual-related stuff anytime, sometime soon. I know. GG. Well, we have Misk. He'll he'll keep track of her. We have a Cyan Exterminator here in the base, so we'll be fine. For now, anyways. At least until he dies. That there's still starry eyes whenever they eat something that's delicious. It's just fucking hilarious to me. And there's just, they're just, they're just ridiculously satisfied little little moan like ah, it's just it's just hilarious. I don't know why. As I think I was starting to say and kind of cut myself off, um, I believe I am incentivized to actually get as many blue hearts as possible. Well, I'm probably not going to go so far as to get like, you know, seven. I don't have that much time. Plus, I'm not willing to spend that much time on it, so. Well, haven't you, haven't you seen what I've been trying to do every day? Watch. See that little heart thing? Every time you... Once you have all the magic stuff from doing the sermons, every day you do a sermon, you get, uh, and you have full faith, you get a free blue heart. See? I had two, and now I have three. And then, um... 
thanks to my uh, crown here, the hunger, you can eat a meal to receive a heart, which we already, which we already surmised only stacks once. So like, I can't, you know, get one heart every day. It's just one. It's like, if I eat one in a day, I can get a free heart. Now, the only question I have is I genuinely do not know where this guy is supposed to be. He's in the sh There's this there was this creature that gave me two um two pieces of fleece. I just don't know where the hell he is. You know, the, and this tends to you know, this right here seems to imply that it's supposed to be a fifth guy. I just have no idea where the hell this fifth person is supposed to be. I could be, I don't know, I could be wrong. Give me a five. I don't need a two. <laughs> I'm just destroying dice one after the other. <laughs> Why don't you go here? What? That was dumb. Destroy one of these, I need to destroy these fives or else I'm not going to win. <sighs> I just threw my threes. Damn you! Well, that's not bad. I'm just not getting the rolls I need, so... I'm probably just gonna lose based off of that alone. Yeah. Yep. I just did not get the rolls I needed. <laughs> if only we played for parts, I could use a lamb chop to go with Clunko's hat. I forgot. I forgot what voice I used for him. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I don't want you to. Nope, 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 nope. There you go. Just kind of hoping somebody would show up, but. Okay, so. Those are but like at night when I stood out here on the 
on the pier. This uh, monster in a cloak rose up from the water, and I offered him some food, and he gave me a piece of fleece. He gave me part of the fleece. I don't think they're going to talk about it, though. Since I technically already did that. And then I met him again at the, um, at the smuggler's sanctuary. He's not going to show up again. Well, there's only two... Also, I like to point out... I don't think he's an ant, and I think he's also actually dead, just so you're aware. But there actually aren't any other bodies of water. Like this here. But I already went here. What's that? Oh. The fuck? Wow, I didn't even know that thing was there. Okay. Wow. Uh... Well, alright, um... I guess I have more reason to wait! <laughs> uh... Well, shit, now I gotta figure out some... Now I gotta figure out some... Some excuse to wait. Wait, so I know what the hell those shells are for. That might be, I don't know, that might be a final, um... Might be a final tarot card. Ugh. Ugh. No, 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 I can't, I can't swap out the fleece. It automatically drops me to the, to the, uh, original red fleece. I don't, I don't know if you noticed during the boss fight, but we automatically got switched out to the normal red fleece, the default that you get at the very beginning. I don't think, unless you use, like, a blue fleece... Unless you, unless you can use a blue fleece, no, 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 it automatically drops it out anyway. So it's, you can't you can't use any of the special fleeces on the final boss. Yeah. Somebody has a quest for me somewhere. Or maybe not. 
the sound of like it. I mean, technically, I could just meditate until the end, I guess. I have 29, I have 22 people. Okay, never mind. I don't have to worry about that. I wish I knew about that little... Nope. Oh. oh no, it's still there. It's just hidden in the... Well, I guess I can't do that here. Okay, fine. Fine, I'll wait back at the base. You're gonna be like that. Erden's old. Oh. No, that's not what I wanted you to do. There we go. I accidentally right click, sorry. Oh. Wait, why can't I? I can't do it again. Okay. What do you mean I already made it? You mean it? Was the snail not there before? Oh. oh. <laughs> That's what the star was. What the hell? Okay, I was not expecting that. Bottom Treller, he was. Muck eating prey. Sparkling gold one day. Found amongst the threads. Lost by a pirate with many legs. Pretty shiny price for all. Normal shit. Nothing rem they all want, nothing remains. Blood washes away in the tide. He waits, waits, and then take. Even muck eaters have teeth. There is no help for me now. Huh. Well, I am. Oh. Okay. So. Apparently, there's one. In certain places? 
I guess? Outside, the fisherman, the summon off about him. It's some as if you were at. No, no, that would be too ridiculous. What do you think he is? Hmm. He's just a walking, talking fish. Calm down. So. I don't think there's one here in my place, so I'm just going to have to find it in the lonely shack. That's why I'm betting this is going to be. I just need to, you know, do my sermon here real quick. Before I forget. Oh, that was that was a sincere surprise. To even see, to even know that that thing was there. But oh, wait. So all that's left is the shack. I didn't even think to look for it, honestly. Oh. There's a rat. There's a snail. Wasn't anything there that I saw. Just didn't have one. I just got it from there. Hmm. We did all the shells, yes. But I know that we're missing we're still missing some follower forms and I don't know where they are.
I can maybe show you if we get, if maybe somebody, um, I get a quest, let somebody join. But like, All I can really say is that I'm missing some forms. I'm still missing a tarot card, too. And I don't know where that might be. fleeces are I mean he might jump one as a bonus after we give him all the fleeces but I also don't know where to, where he's supposed to be for the last two um, fleeces because again there are no other water spots and I don't like maybe he's in Minus's cave at night That's all I wanted. That's not what I wanted, thank you. Probably just actually have to come back here at night. I'll try again when it's actually nighttime. I said, I said, we're gonna wait until it's actually nighttime. That's what I said. Come now. You turn against me for her cat? How dare you, rat nose? I should have known your toady nature would have come forward. How dare you turn away from your mother like this? I also really do not like how this is starting to get laggy. I actually gave anyone that back. I just realized that. Let's do the sermon first, that way. Well, we still have max faith.
Hi, Aiden. I suppose I could have shown it off when I got Aaron, but I didn't think about that. There's nothing here. I can probably just buy you and I can show it that way. I see, but I don't want to buy your seeds. Let's see, I have the rat, I have the star, I have the snail, I'm missing the wolf, and whatever this is supposed to be. I do want to use that one. I'm just trying to think of a name. There we go. I just thought of a random ass name. Oh, she want to add more into this? Is that what she wanted to? You trying to overtax Misk here? Misk has enough problems to deal with as it is. Well, it's a good thing SDM isn't going to see this. At least not for a while. Oh, I still be freaked. I gotta find Misk.
Are you very iry, aren't you? Are you a mess? Okay. Just so you have the longevity to outlast both the Saiyans and keep them in line. There, you get a skull necklace. Look at this hell spawn acting as a farmer. The sign who thinks she's a farmer. to go, though. I at least want to do this. I at least want to figure out if there's anywhere I need to go at night to see the guy. Or what? It's like, it's like two of them are trying to be friends and then more than friends and then just like around the corner of one of these buildings you just see Miss Face just leering at them. Like, I see you over there. I mean, SD isn't normally isn't really that nosy anyways, but I feel like for something like that, he absolutely would be. Me. He absolutely would say that. That's what I probably should do. I don't even know exactly what, what the fuck a sign is, I just think he's crazy. <laughs> exactly. Just like, what the fuck is a sign? What the fuck is a sign? Why are you interrupt why are you interrupting our our potential fun times for inane shit like this? Just leave us alone, dude. He's just like, no. I cannot. 
Oh, there was something going there. Okay, I couldn't tell. I, I cannot! Oh, right, it's nighttime. Okay, really quickly. We're gonna go to each space, and we're gonna see if we can find somebody. Find him. The first place was here. Nope. What new spaces? What new spaces are there? Well, that guy's gone. But, like, I genuinely don't know what new spaces are there. All we know is only going to show up after we defeat um, the one who waits. Well, I guess. I guess we'll just have to see. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. That's going to happen next. Also, oh, hello, Canners169. I don't know if you're still here. I'm sorry. If you are here, don't worry, we're actually gonna we're actually gonna face the final boss this time. 